Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going over and testing out the Clem Everest laptop cooling pad. And I'll be testing it on my gaming and video editing laptop and it gets up to 93 degrees Celsius while gaming flat on the bed. But first, let's see what's in the box. Here is the cooling pad. These are the intake parts and they both have filters to prevent dust particles going into your computer. You have two USB plugs. It's nice to see that there's foam all around the laptop cooler to have a nice seal. And this can be tore off to fit whichever size laptop you may have. And this is where the air blows out into your computer from these two. And this is very nice. They did a good job. That looks pretty good. It's gonna flip it around, check it out. Uh, pretty standard. I'm not sure what used to be here, but we have legs here. Stand up to the cooling pad, which is probably something you'd want to do, but you don't have to. Then this is the controls right here. In the bag, we have the USB to USB plug-in to power this unit, some stickers and stuff. This goes right here to prevent your laptop from sliding off the platform. And these go back here, and I'll explain why in a second. Taking a closer look at my laptop, we have an exhaust part here, another one right here, and on the bottom of the laptop, this is the intake for the cooling fans. I, I've installed these so I can always have a laptop stand anywhere I go. These are like 10 bucks. I'll link them down below for your convenience. So we need to make sure that this intake can sit flush on top of this cooling pad. So if I sit just like that, the bottom piece of this foam is blocking some of my intake. So I'm just gonna remove that and there you go. Let's go ahead and grab the USB. Let's go ahead and plug it in. One thing to note is that the cord is not very long. Okay, so we can turn on the light, turn off the light. Turn the fan up. There are six speeds. One, two, three, four, and five. And then finally max. That's a decent amount of airflow. Not bad. So it has a bit of airflow. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Now let's go ahead and do a proper test. We know my laptop gets up to 93 to 95 degrees Celsius when it's gaming. So let's see how cool this laptop cooler can keep my laptop. I do want to explain these tabs. I also have exhaust parts on the back of my laptop here and here. So I'm blowing out hot air. So it's going to deflect off this tab and it prevents the hot air from going back into the cooler. For this test, we are going to play Apex. Then we will use MSI Afterburner to track the temps of the CPU and GPU. I can't record my solid state drives right now. This drill is having issues. I'm not sure what's going on, but let's go ahead and get this computer hot. Right now the fan is off. Nothing's on right now. I'm not doing a very good job here. So during this bit of gameplay, the temps, the highs are 86 degrees Celsius on the CPU and lows are 76. And the GPU has been pretty stable at 66 degrees Celsius. I'm a solo. Interesting. Okay, so the temperatures are at 74, 77 degrees, or 73 to 77 degrees. I'm gonna turn on the cooler. We're gonna start at just fan speed one, see where the temperatures go to. Okay, sev. I'm gonna go up to max fan speed. So that's the max fan speed. It's not very loud at all. GPU temperature has so far went down to one degree Celsius. Temperatures are kind of stabilizing between 71 to 76 degrees Celsius on the CPU and the GPU is going up to, or down to 62 degrees. So I just got down to 69 degrees Celsius on the CPU. Oh, 68, dang. Wow, well, I haven't seen anybody. GPU is at 61 degrees and this is getting, this, and the CPU is getting as low as 68 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> Almost got him. Okay, so my fan speeds are still very high. This feels pretty hot. The CPU temps are pretty good and GPU temps are also pretty good. I'm just gonna turn this off. So arguably, this did two degrees better in regards to CPU compared to the Klim Maestro. So the Klim Everest is the better choice compared to the two cooling pads. It's not as good as the IETS GT500 because the cooling pad has a very powerful fan which plugs into the wall. These cooling pads that plug into your computer only have so much power that they can out. But that fan is also significantly louder, but it cools down a laptop a lot better. It's a trade-off. What do you want? Overall, I think this is the best cooling pad that plugs into your computer via USB. If you want to check out this cooling pad, then I have a link down below for your convenience. I think it did a pretty good job. I guess that's all for today. This is Chris. I always appreciate and respect another. I'll see you next time.